training superstars and welcome to Tuesday Train with Tash. My name is Natasha and I'm a Grand Prix dressage rider from Australia and this is my gorgeous gelding Frisian cross Milo. Um, and we've had all this amazing response of me doing some just trick training. Um, as I said, I have very, very, very long descendants. Um, I come from the circus Altoff. So there's a little bit of circus in me and a little bit of tricks in me. And dressage is not about tricks. Dressage is all about systematic training. But sometimes it's fun to have some fun. So I thought I would break down how I teach a horse to bow. Um, it's lots of fun for the horse, lots of fun for me and um, who knows, I always think when I win my gold medal at the Olympics I'll get my horse to do a bow when we leave the arena, just for fun. So um, the first thing is, same as if you're teaching a horse to canter from a trot, like you're trotting and you apply a canter aid and you want the horse to canter effortlessly and willingly and absolutely every single time. It's the same from a cue for anything. So we're going to tap him on the knee and I'm going to teach him firstly when I tap him on the knee he has to lift the leg because that's the first step of the bow. He has to lift the leg and then bring that leg back to go down into the bow. So the first step of teaching the bow is to get the horse to pick up a leg. Now I'm very lucky, I have his half region and he's very motivated by food. So he's looking at something at the moment. But if he knows I have this, he gets really excited. So I'm just gonna come onto this side. I always teach him to bow on this side, I don't know why. And good boy, good boy. So he's pretty sensitive, obviously doesn't like flies and you wanna be tapping if you can like a fly because they normally will <laughs> um, oh stop putting your reins in your mouth um, they'll you know as they do to flies quickly snap up that leg and say I don't want that one more see good boy that's what you want that you don't even have to tap you just go to look at that leg no no good boy good boy all right then the next, <laughs> sorry, actually that's step one. And I think if I just leave you with that, <laughs> make sure that you're not in the direct crossfire um, because they will, he is very much like a Labrador. He wants what's in my pocket and he will do anything for it. So he'll start sitting and rolling around and um, playing dead or all the dog tricks, you know, that kind of thinking. He's just gonna try doing different things going, I'll do anything for this licorice. So if you get your horse to that point, that's good. And um, in the coming weeks, I'll show you what part two to getting the horse to bow is. Good boy.